Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Alishan Mo here. Welcome back to more RC video reviews. Today in this video, I'm going to give you a detailed tour of Xiaomi Mi Tu Wi-Fi FPV quadcopter with 720p camera and multi-machine infrared battle capabilities. I'm sure you have watched my outdoor flight video of Xiaomi Mi Tu quadcopter where I was having fun outdoors in winds and it was actually handling the winds just perfect today in this video we are going to take a closer look at the quadcopter talk about this feature i'll give you more closer look at the app and of course we will fly it indoors and have some fun with it indoors and flying it out from my apartment through the window and get back in before we continue this video please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on that little bell icon so you get notified whenever there are new videos okay so this is your little bundle of joy the Xiaomi Mi Tu uh, RC quadcopter with Wi-Fi FPV 720p camera and multi-machine infrared battle uh, simple quadcopter it actually comes with one battery six propellers that means two spare propellers and a USB cable for you to charge the battery through this quadcopter. Now this is a nice fun quadcopter to fly. Do remember that this is a twice great quadcopter from Xiaomi but when we talk about Xiaomi company when they make something even a toy they make sure it is designed to perform and give you all the fun that you have ever wanted. Now, uh, the quadcopter also comes with the prop guards, which are actually very, very easy to remove. Should you not want these prop guards, you can just remove them. Very little quadcopter, uh, easy to fly indoors, uh, small rooms, confined spaces. The controls are super duper nice on this one. I'm simply loving it. But I will actually highly recommend that if you're flying indoors, you better install these uh, prop guards. Uh, this will help to save your propellers whenever you are hitting the walls or uh, other objects while doing some challenge flights and or crashing does make it uh, a little bit bigger in size after the prop guards but it will save you uh, in long terms in terms of uh, saving the props or buying new props now on top of the quadcopter you're looking at the battery of the quadcopter just push the button at the back of the quadcopter and you can lift the battery up and remove it if you have a separate charger which is sold separately you can charge two batteries at a time otherwise you can charge single battery at a time inside the quadcopter using this USB port given right here so add the battery in connect the quadcopter to USB cable and you will be able to charge this battery the battery is 4.35 volt 920 milliamp battery and provides good enough flight times for you to have fun. Now seeing that how much fun this quadcopter is, well I went ahead with more batteries. That is the way for you to have fun with Xiaomi Mi Tu quadcopter. Now if you have more batteries like these, of course charging them one by one in the quadcopter can be trouble and long uh, you know it takes long times so you can go ahead and order a separate uh, charger for your Xiaomi Mi 2 batteries you can charge two batteries at a time with this little charger using a USB cable only so just add two batteries to it aligning the electrodes and connect it to the USB cable and it will charge two batteries at a time for you after charging you can also have fun using it as a wheel on your table or a beautiful paperweight all right installing the battery is just simple just push the battery down on top of the quadcopter and that's it in front of the quadcopters you can see cameras and on the bottom of the quadcopter you have ultrasonic and optical flow sensors that help this quadcopter to achieve a solid position and altitude hold indoors and outdoors now regarding the app uh, last video I was flying outdoors so I didn't give you a quick tour of the app in this video I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the app so uh, just push and hold the on off button at the right side of the quadcopter okay an orange light comes on that means your quadcopter is on 
go ahead and start the Miku drone app. All right, click and it will find the Me2 quadcopter. If there are no Wi-Fi, it will directly connect, but in my home, the Wi-Fi is running, so uh, it shows you a choice. Just click on it. First time when you do it, you will be asked for a password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, similar like that. It, it should be mentioned in the user manual as well. All right, so now you can see the view of my room, my little room right here. And that's me. Yeah, what's up? It looks a little black at the moment. All right, so you have your live video from the quadcopter that, that you can use to fly FPV. Now you have two virtual joysticks here, okay? And they are very, very responsive, very, very sensitive. And using the joysticks to fly the Xiaomi Mi 2 drone is absolutely a joy and it is very very accurate control it's one of the best controls that i have seen on the cell phone virtual joysticks okay the app is in chinese complete chinese even the audible uh, verbal notifications are spoken in chinese um, the server access failure is from my vchat because now i'm connected to the quadcopter wi-fi not the other wi-fi all right uh, just to give you a quick overview let me just focus and remove the glare from it. So on the screen, I hope I don't show you any glare. At the left side is a back button, then takeoff, palm takeoff, and gamepad mode. So you can actually use a Bluetooth enabled gamepad that you can connect to your mobile phone using a Bluetooth and use this gamepad to fly your Xiaomi Mi 2 quadcopter. The next icon that is grayed out at the moment, it will be visible and uh, clickable only when the quadcopter is in the air and flying because this will uh, put your quadcopter in headless mode. So this is a headless mode activate and deactivate icon. And then you have phone tilt control. So you can use your phone uh, gyro uh, to actually control and fly the quadcopter as well. Here you have the information from the quadcopter, what flight mode it is, what is the strength of the signal and battery levels after that you have the settings down here you have a picture and video recording buttons okay and a little one here uh, here and a little icon here this will activate four different flips for your quadcopters that you can do when you go to the settings that's where everything goes a little bit confusing because everything is in Chinese but it is pretty easy to understand you have gallery here all right this shows you uh, what videos and pictures have been recorded on the quadcopter and which one you have downloaded locally second you have the choice to select the resolution of pictures and the videos then your Wi-Fi setup so you can change the password and name of the Wi-Fi here after Wi-Fi you have version information then you have the uh, then comes the fencing. You can set 25 meter altitude fencing or reduce it as, as you like, as per your choice. I have left it to 25 meters. The quadcopter has about 100 meter control distance. We are, ha we are having some focusing issue anyway. Stay with me. The next one is uh, some kind of gyro calibration as per my understanding. And you can also tweak your radio control sticks according to your own choice here. You can actually uh, tweak your virtual radio control uh, joysticks uh, on this app. Uh, but I have just left them as per default settings. And finally, you have a little tutorial, which is again in Chinese. But if you have an English version of this app, this can actually describe what this does. Uh, I mean, all these things will be in English and you can easily understand. All right, let's fly it. So first thing first, I am going to uh, click on take off and it says confirm. There you go. Now my floor is pretty wide here, but it does have pattern. So it's holding its position really nice and solid. I'm gonna do what I used to do before and bother it. Wow, it's like having a GPS position hole. It tries to come back there. But I can just hold it and put it away and leave it. Woo, it always tries to come back to that position. All right, let's bother it more.
Now, yeah, it found it, it found it back. <laughs> it was a little confused, but then it found it back. So I'm actually disturbing the head, I mean the orientation as well, the direction, the heading of the quadcopter as well. Don't do that at your home, okay? This is me. I have a lot of experience with quadcopters, so I love to have fun like that. Check this out, how sweet it is. It takes a little while, but it does hold its altitude perfectly solid. Alright, time to fly. Time to fly. Check out the controls, the precision on the controls. It's simply amazing. Absolutely fantastic. I simply love these controls here. It's like having a radio, that kind of precision with the radio sticks and gimbals. Alright, let's test the uh, precision of controls. I have a little hoop right here in my house. Uh, I was using it for the FPV whoops. Let's see if we can do it with the Xiaomi Mi 2 drone and how precise the controls are. And here we go. I went through once, twice, <laughs> three times. Uh oh, I hit the wall. Probably the gyro uh, calibration is disturbed. Just put it down for a while, it should be fine. Yes. And take off again. So this is a good thing that it does a bit of gyro calibration again and retesting or reinitialization. Okay, we are not gonna give up. We are gonna go through the hoop again. <laughs> now we are going to. Now we are actually having fun. Oh, uh, this time I took one of the uh, prop guards off. But hey, this is this is a crash testing as well. I removed the battery as well, so I have to restart the quadcopter. This is good because this is the crash testing or durability testing of this Mi 2 quadcopter. One moment, another one is loose, the prop guard. Let me just check all the prop guards. Everything is fine. Reconnecting the quadcopter. And uh, we have plenty of battery for now. Everything is back, reinitializing. Oh, one moment. Something is hitting the propeller. That's, that could be the uh, uh, prop guard. Yes, definitely this prop guard here. Uh, let me just fit it once again. One moment. It's not fit properly. One, two, three, four. Okay, everything is fine. And here we go again. Okay, here we go again. Yes, back to flying. Super. So yes, I was talking about the controls. Controls are pretty good. Uh, and of course, it also needs the skills. Uh, I do have the skills, but still, flying this... Uh, look how close it was to the air conditioner. Uh, but flying with the, uh, you know, Joyce, virtual joysticks, is still, I need to practice more and I need to get used to the responses. Okay, we can do more challenge if you like. I will go up there and around that little pillar. So go up, turn right, uh, go forward. The altitude hold is really helping. <laughs> and of course, the position hold does help a lot. All right, that was nice. How much battery I have? Pretty much uh, half or more than half. So I'm gonna start recording. Uh, this is a beautiful shot. Let me take a picture. I'm gonna start recording the video and fly it around my house a bit. So I'll take it to my room. And give you a panorama here. Very slow panorama. Slow down, slow down. Alright, there's my camera, there's my red kit racing uh, crawler, there's my Icon A5. Awesome. Now, we're gonna follow ourselves, maybe. It doesn't have a follow me feature, but I'll just fly it slowly. Look at the amount of controls you have on it. I mean, you can 
actually fly it as slow as you want. All right, battery is getting low. So I'm going to stop recording the video right there and land the quadcopter. I'm not done yet. Let me change the battery and we should test the headless mode and replace the battery. I have plenty of batteries to have fun. Yes, if you want to have fun with this quadcopter, you got to get plenty of those batteries. Bam. That's it. Video is there. Let's take off. And uh, let's do a flip first. So, front flip. Look at it. How stable flip it's doing here. Outdoors, the winds were simply pushing it away. Roll. Awesome. Okay, those were the flips. I'm going to test the headless mode. Okay, now it's in headless mode. Left is left, right is right, while the nose is away. Nose is towards me. Left is left, right is right. Man, this is simply very confusing. But you can see that I can rotate the quadcopter and still control it in every direction I want. So that is your headless mode. Uh, left, fall, forward, backward. Uh, now I'm confused. So I'm, I'm going to disengage the headless mode because I love to fly it without headless mode. Now, we have uh, about the half battery. Let me see if I can go out of the window and shoot some footage. So, the window is open. It's not windy outdoors. It's pretty nice. And start recording the video. Hey, quadcopter, you are going out. I hope I will be able to bring it back in. So, we are looking at the stadium. Check it out. There you go, stadium view. And we are looking at the street view. Superb. And now we are looking at Ali Shan Mao in the window. <laughs> Ali Shan Mao in the window. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good title for this video, I believe. <laughs> so we can take a zoom out shot and zoom in shot. Sweet. Now it's tricky to bring it back in while the wind is pushing. But I did it. Sweet. That <laughs> was fun. <laughs> okay, stop recording the video. And let's go and fly in my confined room, okay? Hey, one, one moment. There's more challenge here. So, I can do it. I can do it. Go lower. I went under the kitchen table right here. I'm back to my room. It gives me low battery warning, but I just want to fly it around my confined room to show you how easy it is to fly with these, even with these virtual joysticks. The amount of precise control that it offers you. Alright, time to land because the battery is going low. Awesome. Now this battery which I put in wasn't fully charged because I was uh, using it for uh, video making purpose, the demonstration purposes. It was about 80% uh, charge I believe and it did a very good job actually. Alright, that was absolutely a very very fun flight indoors. Especially I enjoyed Ali Shan Ma in the window. <laughs> that was a very good view and basically I want to see how good that view looks like. Um, next thing that you want to do after each flight is to download the videos and pictures that you have taken. Now I'm going to go to the settings, I'm going to go to the album, 
I hope I get it all uh, in the view. Uh, forget about this message, it's coming from my WeChat, another software, another app that cannot connect once we connect to the quadcopter. So we have a video which we can click and hold, click, 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 all these four things and four pictures. All these four items are shot today, just now in this, and I can click on download. So pictures are downloaded really quick while the videos downloading will take a little bit time. If you don't want to edit the videos, you can use these downloaded pictures and videos from your Xiaomi Mi to drone and upload them straight to your social media using your phone only, using your smartphone only. You don't have to have a computer to edit that. You can download some editors, video editors for your phone as well. This definitely is a fun little quadcopter, super easy to fly, very, very, I would say 100% beginner friendly, the way it holds its altitude and position solid. Beginners will have lots of time thinking what to do next. So it's a very forgiving quadcopter. It's a very beginner friendly quadcopter. Uh, it's a very fun quadcopter. I wish I had two of these so I could actually demonstrate the uh, multi-machine battle function as well. But hey, for now I just have one. Next step, of course, Arish was asking, hey, Baba, I want to have a quadcopter. He used to have a little Sima that he, he loves to fly, that he loved to fly before. And he was asking me he wanted to have another quadcopter. I can simply give him the Mi Too now because he can have fun flying it around and it's basically a super easy to fly quadcopter. I'm sure he will be able to handle it just fine. Enjoy and thank you very much once again to all your support towards my work. Don't forget to subscribe and stay updated for all the upcoming uploads. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that i post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button